Hello peeps, my camera battery died, so then I went to charge it, and then I wasted like some time on my computer. I went on YouTube, it was not the best idea. Then I came back, and now I'm here. I actually have notes today, I'm attempting to be organized. Where? This is just my book, oh here we go. Here we go. Today I'm going to give you some tips for songwriting. I've probably given these in some of my other videos, but there's new things in here and this is just a video specifically for songwriting tips. If I look real sweaty and hot, it's because I am. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to have so much editing to do on this video because I'm so scatterbrained. Let's just get right into the tips. First things first, when you're songwriting, Okay, in general, everything you do, let it glorify God, let it glorify Jesus. Just because he deserves so much glory, we can't even comprehend it. So I just think, just to keep that in mind when you are writing songs of like, is this going to glorify God? If you didn't know, all of this is from a Christian perspective. And also, all of this is just my tips. Everyone's process is different, so some of these might not work for people. And some of them might be the opposite of what people need. <laughs> Let's hope not. I just want to give a disclaimer. The next thing I have to say is be true to yourself. This sounds so cliche when I say it out loud. You just need to write from yourself, like from your heart. I don't think it's a very good idea to go writing about things that you don't personally relate to. Be like honest in your songwriting. These days honesty is getting more and more rare. It's just so cool and so refreshing to see. So write what you really have on your heart because God puts things on our hearts and so to write songs about them that's also probably going to glorify him. The next thing is to write truth. At the same time of you know being true to yourself writing what you what's on your heart and what you feel it's also important to think about what is actually true here. Is this song going to be lifting people up and pointing them towards the truth like towards Jesus's truth or is it going to be spiraling them down into the world's thinking because I think as Christians we're called to stand apart and so even sometimes if I feel things and I want to write a song about it I will force myself to bring it before the Lord first and he will sort of I can't think of the word right now what is the word for it there's a word for it and I can't think of what it is reconcile that's the word he will just like reconcile things and teach you through it Sometimes I want to write a song about something, and I'm like, Ugh, I just want to write a song about this. It's usually a depressing song. And then I'll take it to the Lord, and he sort of flips it on its end, and kind of shows me my situation and my feelings in a new way. And then I can write about it from a place of truth, and that glorifies God as well. The fourth thing is figure out your process. Like, just give yourself space and time to figure out what works for you. Because different things work for different people. So what works for me is not going to work perfectly for any other person. Find out what works for you. Like for me, I tend to get a rough melody. I am so sorry. Is it obvious? Ooh. I tend to try to get like a rough melody chord progression. And then I start sort of adding words over top of that. Some people don't work like that. They write the whole song out with lyrics and then add music. Which blows my mind I don't know how people do that everyone just works differently try the different things out and it really just takes time to learn these things so don't expect to know how to do everything all at once because like with anything in life practice is how you learn so if you want to learn a skill you need to just start doing it and you will fail probably and there'll be songs that you look back on and go hmm nice not but You'll learn things through that, so it's going to be worth it in the end. I'm really just going off here. I feel like I sound kind of, I don't know, sassy today. Sorry, guys. The next thing is just like some practical things, like using voice recorders. Basically, all phones have voice recorders on them. Or you can download an app like I had to because my phone didn't. <sighs> For some reason. Just record random things. I have those random things recorded on my phone, like even just sentences of melody that I randomly think of in my head or like lyrics that I want to put in a song or it will be like just a chord progression nothing else or it will be a bit of a song or be like a chorus just if you come up with something just record it it's not gonna do any harm having it sitting there unless you're low on storage and then <laughs> we have other problems and the other thing is to write down the lyrics 
you don't really have to do this, but I find it helpful. It, sometimes I purposely don't write down the lyrics just so I remember the song better. Because sometimes I forget my own songs and I'm like, Oopsies. You can write down lyrics. Also, what I would suggest, especially with this category, is if you think of some lyrics that are just totally random, like they're not for any specific song, just write them in like a notes page on your phone or write them in a notebook. And then when you want to write a song, you can go back to that list of random as chaos in your notes of random lyrics that you could use for something. And you can go through and sometimes pick out ones that you like or one might spark a song or yeah it's just cool to have them all there i actually love that so much i go into my all these my random lyrics and i'm like oh that's cool maybe i will use that now and then i can use it whereas otherwise i would have forgotten you know the other thing that always happens to me i'll be like about to go to sleep i will turn all my lights off i'll be like lying there peacefully just ready to have a nice rest you know and then i'll think of a really cool lyric and i'm like i'll remember it and then i'm like <laughs> actually no i won't get a pen and i'm like trying to write it somewhere on some the back of something just so that in the morning i can go and get it and copy it into where i keep all my random lyrics oh a butterfly just flew by that's pretty except it's a white butterfly which are kind of pests but we don't you know we don't need to discriminate that was all my specific tips with what I what I've learned, <laughs> have I learned anything? I have. Don't worry. At the start, if you have this expectation for yourself, and you're obviously beginning, so you might not be able to realistically reach that. If you have this expectation and then you're not actually reaching it currently, don't just be like, "I'm bad at songwriting. I can never do this, so I'm just not ever gonna try." That would be really sad because what if we wanted to hear your songs and they were really cool? If you can't reach your end goal immediately, keep trying. I think that was all of my tips for today. Thank you so much peeps for watching. I hope this was interesting in some way. I always say this at the end of my videos. Why am I even saying this still? I don't even relate to myself. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, I really appreciate it. If you'd like to see more videos like this and be notified, you can subscribe or you could hit the little thumbs up button if you would like. Otherwise, just thanks so much for your time today and I hope you have a great one. I will see you next time. Thank you so much, peeps. Bye!